Hello friends and welcome to the uh, series Let's Learn a Microsoft 365 topic. This topic is how to use Microsoft Graph Toolkit with React. So in this I will be discussing what is Microsoft Graph Toolkit, what are the prerequisites to create a React app and how to create a re simple React app also. If you like this video, don't forget to connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn and also subscribe to my YouTube channel Sync Ventures. So before we start the actual work, I would like to have a brief on what is Microsoft Graph Toolkit. It's a collection of reusable components which can be used out of box which fetches data out against using Microsoft Graph. As you know, Microsoft Graph enables us to fetch data from different apps uh, from Microsoft 65 like To Do, Calendar, Messages, SharePoint and other, other, uh, other different apps. It can cut down your development time as Microsoft Graph Toolkit provides a lot of web components which can be used easily with least effort. And the good part is that it works in all browsers. Hence, you will, once you build it, it can run anywhere, okay? So as I said, we have to have and uh, we need to have a prerequisites done before we start creating an app. And the first thing you need a Microsoft 365 developer account, which you might already have. Or if not, you can register it pretty easily. I will show you the link now. You, we need an IDE to do the coding, and uh, for which we need a. I, I will use Visual Studio Code. You need Node.js to be installed, and you need Git installation. Please note that if you don't have Git, it will not work. It is not mentioned in docs.microsoft.com official documentation, but you need it. And the last one is we need an Exo directory app to be used with Microsoft Graph Toolkit. Okay. So as I said, you need a Microsoft 365 developer account and you can get it from here, uh, from this URL. Another thing is that you need Visual Studio Code. If you don't have it, just go to this URL, download and install it. And it's a pretty lightweight, so it won't take a lot of time for you to install just as it does for Visual Studio. Node.js, you can just download the recommended for most users once and this should work. And, and it's a pretty standard installation. You just click, click and everything will be done. And we need the Git so that you, so you can download the Windows version if you are using Windows for this and then use the Git, okay. Now, so now you can see, as I said, we done. need a um, Azure so app so for that. We need and go to portal. Now it says Azure. that it is ready and says happy hacking. Okay. So the next step is that I and we should register a new app for it. So I can go from here to Azure Active Directory and I'll have app registrations here. And you can see I already have three apps, but I can show you what needs to be done. You click on new registration and then you give a name to this uh, app, whatever you want to. Then you should select the third type, which is recommended. And here you should type HTTPS local Post 3000. So this is the URL which we will call to run our app in the development environment. And for production, of course, you need to have an actual URL here. Okay. Once that is registered, you will be able to see that uh, our app is ready. And if I go to app registration, I'll show one of the existing ones. And I have named it mget apps. In that, it is important that in the authentication section, you select these two options access token id token so it gives access to all the uh, services it needs okay then you should be able to click save and at the later point of time we will use the client id for authentication purposes okay i generally work on a max of uh, windows 10 on a azure box so i'll be i'm already logged in there and i'll start the um, work there so i get use the git bash actually to run all the commands. So I'll be doing it. Um, so what are the things we need to do? I will go through it one by one now. Okay. So I have already have a, a directory created C. Um, so I'll go under the apps. And the first thing I need to do is to and create a react app so for this the command is pretty simple like this i already have it stored so npx create react app my app name is my 365 app template typescript 
we can name it anything else but i'm using the standard name which is in the docsmicro.com also so once that is clicked um it will start uh, creating an app for me so you, now you can see the uh, npx is installed and it is installing packages which might take a couple of minutes like react react dom react scripts and all so i'm not going to wait for this much time so once everything is done you will see that uh, a directory has been created and it will say happy hacking and then i should log into using cd my 365 app through the directory which has created and then i will install uh, Microsoft MGT React using NPM. And once that is done, uh, we are ready to run uh, our uh, app, which is empty right now, doesn't have anything, okay? But we will try it out to see if everything is set properly. So, TTPS equal to true, NPM start. Generally, if you have to run, we run npm start. But in this case, we are using HTTPS because Microsoft Graph need HTTPS. Otherwise, it will not work. And this can only this command can only be run on a bash, which I am using right now. But if you are using uh, another com command tool like Node.js or something, it will not work. So make sure that you use and HTTPS true npm start on the bash. Okay. So you will see that it is starting the React scripts and it will start the development server and you can see it opens the local host 3000 as i said before and i should say continue to local host and you can see that this is and it says edit source app.tsx to save and save to reload okay so now what happens is that i will open visual studio code and i'll open the folder which we have created open folder select So now you can see that I have app.txx and index.tsx, which is the main thing which we will be using in this case. So as you can see that the normal React app is created, basically the scaffolding is created. Now we want to connect our React app with Microsoft 65, and we have already done the Azure reg registration, which we will be using in this, okay? Now we need to make some changes in the index file, index.tsx in which we will uh, import the msl provider from microsoft mgt and we will also provide a client id so if everything is properly written you will have a code like this so you can see that i am using msl provider from microsoft mgt and import react from react react dom and app this is the app uh, from this app module you can see here and this line is not needed. Uh, it doesn't work because the scaffolding doesn't have the service worker. But of course, you can write the service worker on your own if you want to. But I'll remove for this. Okay. And we, as I said before, we need the replace with the client ID. So we should get try to get it. And I will copy. And I'll replace this with our client ID, which we have. and we should save it, control S. The moment we press control X, it will try to compile, uh, as you can see on your screen, and it will say whether everything is fine or not, okay? Once that is done, uh, we should try to add the sign in button, which means that we should import the login component from Microsoft React, uh, Microsoft MGT React, and we should add, add a div class name app, you know, in this. So to that, we, we should go to the app, TSX, and we should replace the code like this.
and here also we should replace our with our client id so i will do that okay and i'll say control s so now uh, we have what we have done is we have added the sign in component and if we go to our url and refresh it you will see we have a sign in button so now it will try to connect with my um, an office 65 account and you will have to con give consent so it can read everything so now you can see that my name has popped up here so it means that our sign in is coming perfectly okay and if you click on this you will be able to see the sign out option also if you want to do a sign out so let's load some data from microsoft 65 it means that um, we should be able to you know get the uh, at least the calendar messages uh, sorry not calendar message calendar entries so you do that we we should change our code in the code again and this time in the tsx we will uh, copy paste this code so here you can see that uh, we have given a signed in provider uh, we have loaded uh, agenda and login agenda means the calendar entries which we are loading here okay and we have the providers from from here okay so once that is done and we are calling the app here as you can see so if it's signed in it will work and then if i click save here it should compile it will again ask me to authenticate and you can see Okay, let's try to again do it. Accept. Come on. So you can see that it has loaded uh, my one of my events, which is happening at four o'clock, and my name is also there. And whoever participants are there will be shown here. So as you can see, this was pretty easy. Um, I can go back to the code and you can see that I have used uh, here the agenda and login in the app and that is why we are able to you know just use the component agenda and get the agenda from my calendar so that is how it is pretty easy okay so yeah uh, that's it from my side in this video um, so what we learned is how to create a Microsoft Graph Toolkit uh, React app. And uh, the I think the only problem I faced was about the Git installation. It was not mentioned anywhere. So make sure that you have Git. Otherwise, you can follow the instructions from the docsmicro.com and it should work pretty good for you. Uh, otherwise, um, and I have posted the links which I have used. So you will be able to get the code and everything from there also. So yeah, thank you for today.